Hello YouTube, today we are looking at Sniper Elite V2 and this will be the first part in my playthrough of the game. So uh, this is the prologue and we are sent into Berlin to take out five German V2 scientists who are potentially going to defect to the Soviet Union. Um, a little bit of history for you guys since this is, you know, the baby level of the game where we're just kind of taught how to do these uh, booby trap things. Doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, as I was saying, now in the middle of 1943, everybody kind of knew which way the war was heading. So it was only a matter of time before the before the Russians and the Americans actually win the war. So, technically the Russians weren't actually allies, they weren't actually part of the allied faction, they were uh, more or less their own, only that they had a common enemy, which uh, being Nazi Germany of course, is the reason why the Americans and the British uh, pretty much sent them tanks and goods, because think about it, if Russia lasts longer in the war, then everybody else has a better chance of survival, and that's, uh, that's what it really came down to at the end. Okay, so this is uh, one of my favorite portions of the game where we get to eat this guy. Cigarettes also still going, that's kind of cool. Uh, we need nutrition from his uh, flesh and of course the liquids inside his blood to um, keep ourselves alive during these long sniping missions. No, I'm just joking. We place a mine on his body just in case uh, the AI finds him and then pretty much, well, He'd uh, try to search the guy, right? Search the dead guy, and boom, mine goes off, kills both of them. Von Eisenberg was punctual and made no effort to hide his ugly face. Neither did his Russian contact. Clear shot. The slightest pressure on the trigger, and it was good night, Major General. Just a question of choosing my moment. All the right. Square was Time well for some sniping. So there was no wind to worry about. I had to aim one notch above the target to compensate for bullet drop. I controlled my breathing to steady my aim, and then. Shoot. Bam. Severed the spine. Let's get this guy as well. Just because. Now, I believe uh, this place is called the Brandenburg Gate. Um, I'm not very knowledgeable about the cityscape of Berlin, so I could be wrong about that. And um, in many of the missions, like here, we have to exfiltrate from his uh, flesh and, of course, the liquids inside his blood to um, keep ourselves alive during these long sniping missions. No, I'm just joking. We place a mine on his body just in case uh, the AI finds him and then pretty much, well, he'd uh, try to search the guy, right? Search the dead guy and boom, mine goes off. Kills both of them. Von Eisenberg was punctual and made no effort to hide his ugly face. Neither did his Russian contact. I had a clear shot. The slightest pressure on the trigger, and it was good night, Major General. Just a question of choosing my moment. All right, the was time well for some sniping. So there was no wind to worry about. I had to aim one notch above the target to compensate for bullet drop. I controlled my breathing to steady my aim. And then... Shoot. Bam! Severed the spine. Let's get this guy as well. 
just because. Now I believe uh, this place is called the Brandenburg Gate. Um, I'm not very knowledgeable about the cityscape of Berlin, so I could be wrong about that. And um, in many of the missions, like here, we have to exfiltrate from the the well, I I don't know what you'd call it, the vantage point, I guess. Is that a tank? Yes, it is. Oh, let's run. It's kind of like Assassin's Creed, where uh, after you kill somebody, you kind of have to go back to a hideout. That's that's the only game out there that I can find a comparison to. With the trucks and most of the vehicles, you can actually blow them up by sniping the right place. You'll see some more of that later on in uh, Mission 2. Oh hey, we got an achievement we're at. That's nice. Where am I being shot from? And yes, of course, we get more than um, just a sniper rifle. We get a SMG. Although it doesn't come with a lot of ammunition. It comes around with uh, one cl clip. That's just, you know, to prevent you from using this instead of the sniper rifle, I guess. Okay. Now, on the higher difficulties, we would have been dead back there where the AI will just keep on spraying at that closer range because, well, he has the advantage. And, you know, people are pretty fragile. With some of those uh, climatic shots, you can get them in just really, really nice positions. I mean, I shot a guy in the nuts and it actually showed the you know, the organs popping, and it also, uh, I had this one time where I shot a guy in the grenade pouch, and that blew him up, and to my knowledge, you can dismember somebody's head, and take that right off with a I bullet, but dead. I have not been able to do that I yet. Was committed now. Both the Russians and Germans would know I was in play. Get to see some bombing of Berlin. <laughs> Alright, so four more targets to go. That was a fairly short uh, intro mission, Intel and um, my next I'll do the second one, I guess. Hunter Kreidel, an expert in rocket engines. He was traveling across town in an armored convoy. We believed he was carrying documents that would lead me to the V2 production facility, where the other three scientists were waiting. I'd identified a point on the route where I could lay a booby trap and stop the convoy. Naturally, the area was defended. I'd expect nothing less. Okay, so uh, moving on to mission two, we are to infiltrate the security checkpoint and make our way to the vantage point to take a shot at the convoy. Okay, that was kind of weird. Fraps decided to just crap out, so I uh, I had to restart it outside the game. But, um, okay, so now we are back into the second mission. Did we even start? Probably not. So, we get a... we get to see Berlin in broad daylight in its, uh, ruined state. Most of these troops out here, uh, would have been pretty much militia. That's all they really had at that time. And, uh, it would have been a little more filled with civilians than this, but it, I, I guess it makes sense in uh, the game setting. I'm also going to use the Gewehr 43 on this level because it's my preferred sniper rifle. Semi-automatic, however, you kind of have to account for the wind and the gravity of the bullets more um, than the other rifles. You get this uh, rifle late later in the game, I've, uh, I think I've already shown off all the weapons inside the game during missions 3, 4, and 5, so once again, check that out if uh, you want to see that. My my preferred combo is the Gewehr 43, the British slash American well rod, and the Papa Sa as the SMG. So I get the best of all the factions, and I believe this is the room that the demo starts in. Um, sadly, this fight that's about to happen is unavoidable. Uh, trust me, I've tried sneaking past this many times, although I just haven't found a way 
to get around it, so uh, we kind of had to fight our way through this part. I like a mixture of both like stealth and action, so it's uh, it's fun with me. Although I I did try to go for like a completely stealth playthrough, that uh, that didn't work out that well. I don't need to aim when I've got semi-automatic firepower. Let's see, they should all be dead by now. Okay, maybe not. I dinked that guy on the helmet, I love doing that. Absolutely love doing that. I'm a little confused on what's actually hitting me and what's not. Okay, I see you. You are going down. Ooh. Through the grind. That's gotta hurt. And that's that's the spare for you. I, I don't really like how you can't avoid it. I tried going through these buildings, but that sniper up there always found me. Um, um, I guess you can take him out over there and then do it. I didn't try to do that. Maybe I will later on. But I guess you can get past it by doing that. But it's, it's, it's really fine with me. I, I always like to play stealth based games with a bit of action. And what do we have here? Some ammunition, that's always good. Dropped him. And I will drop you. There we go. Let's see if there are any more guards out there. Okay, so two there. See if I can get a double kill on any of them. Oh, that's gonna go through both of them, definitely. Or not. That works too. Hit something and made him explode. I'm not exactly sure what it hit to do that. But, um, the point is that he did explode. Not sure if uh, penetration is simulated in this game, so I don't know if bullets can actually go through like wooden boxes and all that. Twice that's happened in one mission. That's nice. That's gotta be a record. Okay, we're almost dead. It's all right. We can hide behind there, and that looks like a perfect sniper's nest. I had to keep my eye on that. And uh, in some missions you can hear all this shooting in the background. You can use that to cover up uh, the sounds of your shots, which is pretty helpful. So we're going to have to plant some satchels on, along the convoy's route. I'm also going to put down some dynamite, which we can shoot later on. And it looks like there's a sentry there. Two guys sitting in the ruined cafe. Alright, our heartbeat is a little bit high, so I think I'll crawl. In reality, crawling for snipers was a very difficult task. It, it isn't like, yeah, crawl to like, say, that thing. It was literally crawl through a field that is being patrolled by enemy soldiers. And still remain undetected. There we go. I'm setting up these uh, dynamite packs so that later on when the convoy passes, goes past here, I can just shoot them instead of the satchel charges to pretty much do the same thing and just to take out the convoy easier. I'm gonna go loud and just clear this building with the SMG if we have to fight anybody inside here. 
You can see some nice dynamic sh shadows. That's always nice. One down. Seems to be a second man inside here. Nope. Sniper. I see him. Somewhere on this building. There's a bottle up there. Those are collectible things. You can shoot at them. And I, I believe you get something if you shoot all of them on a level. Still one of those snipers out there, I just don't know where he is. Um, uh, have to find the glimmer of this is scope, but, oh, I actually found it. That works too. Alright, back up to the vantage point. Let us go. Convenient ammo box to get some rounds. You actually never seem to be able to run out of the sniper rounds. It's only the SMG and the well rod. That's about it. Everything else kind of has enough ammo to uh, last you throughout the mission. Especially the sniper. I've, I've never run out of bullets for it. Okay. Let's start the party. Okay, so where did I place that dynamite? I don't see it, oh well. Okay, that should get the armored car in the front and the truck. Hopefully it does. Not sure if that armor truck's dead. I think it's I think it's still going strong. Two for one. I hope it is two for one. <laughs> the guy falls just as the bullet uh, goes through the other guy. Oh no, it's the tank from earlier. Looks like it's it's on fire. I see, it wants us to shoot off the back uh back things. Fuel they fuel caps, I guess. Ah oh, crap, I missed. That's gonna have some repercussions in the form of uh high explosive shells. Your cover isn't very good, whoever you are. I can't tell if that was a bullet or the tank firing. I guess I should probably clear up some of these infantry men first. Alright, that's the tank firing. Okay, let's, let's do this nice and proper this time. Actually get the tank. Okay. Perfect. And I believe it's cleared on the ground, so let's, uh... Oh, or maybe not. What are we supposed to do? Search his corpse for intel, that works. Let's go do that. I think this is one of those missions where you had to exfiltrate out of a different way than you came in. Gotta see some semi-auto action. This thing just pumps out bullets. Which is nice, because on the bolt-action rifles, you... Well, it's obviously bolt-action, so you can fire a shot, but then you had to reload right afterwards. Oh no. Oh no. That thing would have ended us in one shot if it managed to swing around. Good thing it didn't. Okay, well that's the second mission, so uh, like and subscribe if you would like to see more of this game. Bye bye and check out missions 3, 4, and 5.